The minority is pushing for Parliament to haul Environment Minister Professor Kwamna Frimpon Boating to the House to answer emerging questions on recent developments in the Galancy fight. Tamale North MP quizzed why the House will not schedule the Minister to appear before the House to respond to recent developments. The majority leader, Say Chairman Mensa Bonsu, called his bluff, asking him to file an urgent question. For the sake of the concerns that many in this country have raised in relation to an issue that threatens our survival as a nation, uh, the Minister for Environment and Science would have been billed to brief the nation through Parliament on government's uh, determination to fight the dreaded Galam sake and the state at which that fight is. Given the reports that we are getting in the media and the concerns that people are raising as far as this fight is concerned. And it is important because we all know uh, how relevant the successful campaign is to our uh, very existence as a nation. So, Mr. Speaker, I'll plead with the majority leader to, if it is possible, make space for the Minister for Environment and Science to brief the nation and, for that matter, Parliament on the successes, if any, chalked as far as the fight is concerned, to put, uh, uh, to, to put at ease the, the minds of people who genuinely supported the campaign. Mr. Speaker, I believe really this his own appeal is a preemptive strike. Knowing very well that he has submitted a statement to you in respect of the same subject matter, which is not part of the the statement that I submitted. Mr. Speaker, uh, if he wants to pursue the statement, he knows what to do. We don't come through a window to articulate on something that is supposed to be the pipeline. However, Mr. Speaker, I, I, I think that is an important subject matter that should concern the people of this country. And just this morning, we had a discussion with the Speaker on that. Well, let's just say a bit further on this. Matthew Nyandam is Deputy Majority Chief Whip in Parliament. He joins me with a telephone. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Nyandam, for time uh, this evening. The Majority Leader did concede that this matter is of importance uh, and the agency clearly uh, he acknowledges. So when exactly is a Parliament going to have Professor Kwabana from Pomboating appear before the House? Well, let me let me also say hi to your your, your viewers or your listeners. Obviously, like uh, the majority leader said, and to all of us, we all know the passion and the power behind the president's will to end this canker that has destroyed our lands, our water bodies, and all those things that we all care for. And for that matter, if he says it is of importance to all of us, it is. But in Parliament, you cannot just say because it's of importance, you use any window, maybe a very narrow window to make your point. There are two ways in getting doctor to come to the floor to answer whichever question that you want. So the member who raised the issue, I'm sure the minor, majority leader advised him that he could file a question to to invite the, the, the minister to the floor to come and answer. But when it comes to business committee, when we sit at business committee to arrange the business for the ensuing week, it is at that level that if we feel strongly or the minister feels strongly he wants to come and make a statement, then such a minister will be someone to come and make a statement. But if a member wants a minister to come to the floor to answer a question to or to make a statement to, to, to something he thinks about, he will just have to file a question well, 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 and yes. the speaker to admit it. So be it. Uh, well, but then you make the point and you also do acknowledge the importance of this subject. And so... I mean, you are the, on the business committee of the House, so why are you not attaching that urgency to it, to have him come to speak? Because the, the, the urgent question option that the majority leader recommended will be at the behest of the speaker, isn't it? Sure. And 
whatever we do, whatever we do in Parliament, we should all know that the Speaker is the head of that institution. Absolutely. So even if you if you submit a business to the House, although the House have to look at it and agree, but Speaker still has an input in, in, in whatever we do on the floor of Parliament. Precisely my point, and that's why I'm saying that, I mean, next week the, the President will, will address the nation, and that, sure. all things being equal, might take two, three weeks of debate in Parliament. So, when, really? Well, I, I will not be able to tell you today or tomorrow, because just like you said, next week President will be on the floor to address all of us and give us the state of this nation we all call Mother Ghana. And for all you know, our interests will definitely be addressed. And if it's no address, and if members are not satisfied, that is why you have all the tools at your disposal to summon the minister through questioning, and then the minister will be there to answer. The minister, on his own solution, can also tell the speaker, write to the speaker, and tell him that I want to come and make a statement on this matter, which is of national interest to all of us, which can also be done. Nyandam, thank you for your time this evening. Matthew Nyandam is a deputy majority chief whip talking to us there.